hello guys my name is Arsula and welcome back to my channel and today we will be solving a new lead code question that is three devices with the help of python let's read out the question and the question says given an integer and return true if n has exactly three positive devices otherwise return false an integer m is divisor of n if there exists an integer case such that n is equals to k into m so what are divisors i would like to tell you that divisors are number which are divisible by that particular number for example the nth number is here too so if it is uh, it's it's uh, divisors would be one and two because they are divisible by two and if we talk about four if we if we divide uh, four we will be getting three divisors that are point two and four because they are divisible by four means it they give, give a remainder of zero means if i divide 2 by 1 i will be getting the remainder of 0 similarly if I divide by 2 by 2 i will be getting a remainder of 0 so if i get the remainder of 0 that those numbers are considered as our divisors so let's start coding this and just before starting coding this section guys to subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button so that you can it so that you can get the decent updates from the channel so we have to uh, actually return a boolean value here true or false if it has exactly three positive divisors we have to return true as we have to return false so if you check check this value four here it has exactly three values but here we have only two values so we will return false here and true here so let's start solving this question guys i will be creating a value i is equal to one and uh, then i will be creating result is equal to an empty array and or you can uh, uh, in python you can call it a list empty list then while i will be creating a while loop while n is greater than equal to i then uh, i will be saying if n mod i is equals to zero means if n is divisible by i then return sorry result dot append i sorry n so just before just like i have talked about what are uh divisors are so if it is if it is give it if, if it give a, give us a remainder of zero we will we should return it uh we should append those values of nth in the result uh, list or we can call it array so when i have returned this value what i will be getting is uh in my li result list i will be getting result just i'm talking about the two these two examples n is equals to 2 and n is equals to 4 so if i talk about n is equals to 2 i will be getting result is equals to 1 and 2 in the result array and if i talk about result in the second section i will be getting 1 2 and 4 when n is equals to 4 n is equals to 2 okay and i am just forgetting this one thing here that i have to increase the value by one as well because it will can it can give us an error so i have to increase value in each loop by one okay now just i have to return result dot length is equals to three so why i have written this because if you see here uh, we have to exactly check for three divisors okay so it cannot be uh, greater than three or uh, less than three it should be exactly three so that's why i have written that if you see here result is uh, length here is two and here it is three you see that it is three here and if i uh, talk about n is equal to uh, six maybe i will be getting uh, result one two three and six that would be false actually so uh, let's run this code and check our code invalid syntax while n is greater than okay so i have n is greater than equal to i it should run down l e n g t h okay so i have put a syntax error here so i will be saying len 
uh, result. You see that it's working now, and I have put I will put one more value here, which is of course six here, which will return as a false value because it has four value in it, so it it should return false. You see that uh, our expected value and output value are both same. So this was all in the question, guys. Hope you have liked the video. Hope you hope you have understood the concept here. And if you have liked the video, please comment in the comment section that you have understood the concept and you have liked the video. Thank you, guys, for watching the video. See you next time.